We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jared. How are you doing, good sir? I'm not gonna complain. Um, you know, we're oh, I mean, I do I oh Lord, do you do you not want to get me started on complaining? Um Oh, just just a quick fuck you. And yeah, that's right. This early in the episode. I'm doing it this early in the episode to AEP. And, ap- and an apology to everyone who uh, listens on a regular basis that our Wednesday episode, which used to be a Tuesday episode, wasn't released until Friday of last week. Um, Again, fuck you, AEP. Shady, shady, okay. shady people. All right. Now that I get that out of the way, Jared, uh, <laughs> um, we, we are doing another Wasteland episode uh, today. We're going to be talking about um, we, here on the here on the swoop cast here. Yeah, yeah. We don't we don't like we don't like the color blue. We, we no, despise no, no, no. the color. Blue. We don't do. So color we blue. are. Yeah, we, we are doing our re rendition of the Red Bloods. Yeah. We're doing, uh, we're doing we're doing college we're doing college football red bloods because you know what Histor- historical schools are red yeah are red so let's let's cover the, we'll cover the um, red bloods we'll talk about historical who who we think are kind of newcomers in the past 20 22 years and who, who's kind of on that cusp of, who's on that edge of potentially being a um, a red blood. Yeah, yeah. Um, the term blue blood does not fit that's college basketball. football. Yeah, yeah it that's... is a basketball term because so many of their prominent teams are blue. Well, if you look at the college football landscape, and we'll prove it during the course of this episode, the most of the predominant franchises in college football are red. So that and we just don't do blue here. So the, the two things lined up pretty well for us, if we're being honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Austin Austin wants me to shut up Kyle or cuz he says you have something to say. So please Kyle, the, the, the floor is yours. <laughs> yes, we we missed you all. We missed you all. Uh, so uh, to to be honest, I I was just letting you talk. I didn't really have anything <laughs> anything to say that was all that dire, but I I'll, I'll continue. Uh so historic <laughs> historically historically mm-hmm. historically Really? Yeah. Uh, the Red Bloods of college football in alphabetical order. Uh, Alabama, Michigan, Nebraska, Notre Dame, Ohio State, Oklahoma, Texas, and USC. Histor- now, historic- historically. Okay. Now, again, though, we need to acknowledge that we have three separate categories. We need to reset this every once in a while for the audio people. The the, the YouTube folk have a have, uh, video to see this. But just to get into reset this for the audio folk, we are doing Red Bloods, which are teams that are both historically and actively successful. Young Bloods, which are sort of the, the not necessarily historically relevant teams, but more recent success teams. And then the old bloods, teams that basically operate purely on their history and they're not they're not power franchises anymore. Yeah. So but So but, red, young, and old is how we're dividing this up. Yeah. So Kyle, of those to, teams, I kinda, I kinda how do you want to sort set, them? Yeah, I kind of wanted to set the stage of just like historically those eight teams, I I think hit, I think you can't really argue too much about those eight teams. I mean, you can you can maybe argue about about how good some of them have been in recent years, but I think historically these have been those eight schools that I mentioned this, have always been up there on the on sure. the chart. If you're trying to rank team, if you're but trying how many to of rank, them? How many of them belong as current Red Bloods though? Because I think yeah, and, and that, it, you mentioned and, and Nebraska and what, as an example. Nebraska is no longer a power team. They, mm-hmm. they, they do not belong in the Blue Bloods anymore. That, that's a no. that is a team resting on its history. That's I cannot I cannot put Nebraska in the Red Bloods. 
I acknowledge yeah. their success in the past, but they're 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 not a intimidating franchise any longer. Mm. Now, yes, the '90s are it, over. And you know what? Since we're talking about '90s as the last time winning national titles, are we got to put Michigan there too as old bloods? They did make the playoffs last year. Okay. So so did other teams. <laughs> Well, I'm just so saying did, they so they are like, historically so like one Washington of the best programs. And, and Oregon and Michigan State, they they made the playoffs. But they don't have the historic success. You have to have both. You have to have current success and historic success. Um, but they haven't even won a playoff game. That's fair. All right. Uh, okay, they, they made. They you made guys the down, playoff. guys down in the chat. Um, if you think. Uh, uh, vote by saying either red or old for Michigan. I'm asking a bunch of Ohio State fans to 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 vote on this. This is not fair. <laughs> no, and, and here come it's, the olds. It's unanimous, it's unanimous Jared. It's oh, unanimous. okay, okay, okay. I mean, sure. I mean, that's that feels a little bias. I'm just gonna say that feels a little bit bias. All right. All right. Uh, who else? Go go through those eight teams again, Kyle. Let's start back at the top. Last outright natty was nineteen forty eight. That that's a good point. Um, they mm -hmm. they did have a shared natty in the nineties, um, but again, like so did Nebraska. Nebraska had outrights in the nineties. So <laughs> okay, but before before last year, when was the last time that Michigan? We Kyle, we've already. Won we we have to place they, no, a bunch they of want, teams. They want a no, that they want a conference title. Because that that has so, that has a lot to okay. do as being a red blood too. Is that you're you're winning your conference as well? Okay. No, no, no. That's that's that is a fair assessment. One were the last two, because we know that they won it last year. Mm -hmm. When was the then, second most recent? And then, and then um, they were co-champions back in '04. Okay. Um, listen, we've already placed them. We're, I think we're just wasting time at this point, right? <laughs> All right. Um, another, another team here. Uh, I mean, they, they've won title titles, titles, I believe so. Uh, <laughs> uh, this millennia, uh, USC, they, they haven't had much success. The, in recent years and in, in quite a while here, uh, they haven't really haven't really won much of their conference titles either. I'm, I'm gonna pull up um, USC uh, USC conference titles. When, when, when's the last time that they won one? I don't know. Anybody know? I'm just watching. I'm watching. I'm watching the the chat. The chat is uh, coming down hard on USC. So last time, okay, all right. USC did won it in 2017. And then they won it in 2008 before that. So it was, it was almost 10 year difference from 2017 to 2008 there. All right. So I, I feel like this is a real, this is a, this is a tough one between, oh, let me ask you this. How many of their titles at the, at the turn of the millennium, how many of those titles do they actually still have? Because I know one. 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 And how long ago was that? That was 2000 and that was, that was 19 years ago. I still want to put them red bloods. I. We're under I a 20 year so. mark for a title. They've won their conference recently. They, they have great they have great historic success. I kind of still want to put them red. There, it's 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 real close. What year did they lose to Texas? That was a great game. Um, uh, that was in two thousand and five. Yeah, I, so they pretty much I, back to back to back um, championship games essentially. They in they were years. the power. They were the power team in all of college football less than twenty years ago. And heck, if you want, if you want to look at, 
Well, Austin, yeah, were, but literally no one has been that they were, then Florida was, then Bama has been for the past 13 years. Like there can only be one dominant franchise. And they were one of them not that long ago. They are still digging out of sanctions. That's that's valid. Yeah, but but if you look, I'm, I'm looking at in the pat in recent years here. How many how many um, seasons have they had? Heck, even even when they won it in 2004, the the one that they um uh that they won it all. How many seasons have they had that had ten plus wins? They had double digit wins. I tell you, I, this, I, it, not not last year. Wasn't it twenty twenty, twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen? They did in seventeen and sixteen, and and then two thousand thirteen. So okay. they've they've had they've had good seasons, but man, it's it's tough. It's tough for me to put them with the red bloods and um i'm going to say for right now for me i, I put him for red bloods but i i may say i may i may at the end of this <laughs> change him to old blood so i'll put him for red bloods for for now yeah we're gonna we're gonna slide him into red bloods we but with an acknowledgement that it's real close yeah i, I may change him to old bloods maybe so we we might change it uh, like we we might come around on that but for right now, let's let's put him there. All right. Speaking of like that too, with um having some bad season in recent years, Texas. Gangland says pending this season. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm very mm-hmm. optimistic about USC's near future with Lincoln Riley, but that we we can't put we can't put optimism. We can't we can't use optimism as a as a watermark here. Mm-hmm. Um Texas. I'm going to put Texas old bloods. I think, I think they're kind of, they're kind of similar to USC, except at least USC has had some better seasons in recent, in recent years, (laughs) Texas, they haven't in the past 12 seasons, the past 12 seasons, they've only had one season where they've had double digit wins. I mean, they have been to the national title a few times recently. They, they did win it. Um, they won it in 05 and lost in 09. Yeah. Um, but man, they, they've been like USC been like bad, bad a few times, like in in several seasons this past, these past 10 or so years. Um, I don't know. I, Charlie strong years. (laughs) Charlie strong was not given a fair opportunity in Texas. I will die on that Mm hill. Um, but I honestly don't see them being. Can 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 you actually draw like a clear line of delineation between Texas and USC? Other than the fact that USC had more success this millennia, because like I said, they were the dominant franchise at one point during this millennia, um, which Texas had a couple good years, but I don't think they were ever that. Boosters have ruined Texas. I agree. Yeah. So yeah, old bloods. Put them in old bloods. Okay. I mean, I, 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 I have we'll still, a hard we'll time saying. We'll, we'll still acknowledge them of what they've done historically, but in today, today's yeah. age. Yeah. They're old bloods. Yeah. I just, I, the, the one thing I have an issue with there, Kyle is like, I just don't see a ton of difference between them and USC. So to, to separate them might, Anyway, let's move forward. It, 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 we've we've made the selection. Let's move forward. All right, uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. So when's the last when's, when's the last time that they won a national title? Oh, uh, it's not been too long. Um, I forget would, the exact. That would year. be that would be two thousand. So this millennia, barely, well, technically not, technically not. Uh, Gangland would like us to know that was the year he was born, but they, so it's, it's a real mixed bag in that they've been to the playoffs 
as often as most of the team, like that I, w- without actually seeing the numbers, they've probably been, they've been a playoff selection. What top four, top five team in the country being selected to the playoffs. Like there aren't that many teams who have been selected, uh, mm-hmm more than once to the playoffs. That being said, yeah. they've yet to win one of those playoff games. Um, yeah, they have like, domi- they have absolutely dominated their conference for what yeah. that's worth. Uh, for, for their wins, Jared, since 2000. So since 2000, they've had one, two, three, four seasons, o- only four seasons where they did not have double digit wins. Yeah. And yeah, uh, gangland, they did not get, stomped in all of those games they've not won all of them but they or they've not won any of them but i i don't think it's fair to say they got stomped in all of them either so yeah this is a this is a red blood team how they how they proceed how they proceed without lincoln riley will be very interesting to see how that happens um but again we can't we can't count seasons for or against teams that haven't happened yet and by the way, like Heisman trophies and like, I know I don't, I don't necessarily want to set a precedent where Heisman trophies matter that much, but you know, they, they had a, they had a few, they've had a few in recent years. Yep. All right. Uh, I guess we'll go next to Notre Dame. Old blood. Notre Dame. Yeah. Agreed. No old blood that, that is it a single playoff selection and a, and then a game they got stomped in. Um, I couldn't tell you last time they won a national title. Um, is it, was it the late eighties or early nineties, their last national title, uh, back when it was like them and them and Miami who were like the prominent teams. Let's see. They haven't won a new year's six bowl since the nineties, even. Yeah, they did not won a major was, bowl game since the 90s, let alone a title. 88 was the last time that they won a title. Yeah, I mean, all due respect to a historic franchise, they are that and historic franchise. Yeah, Cotton Bowl, Cotton Bowl back in 93, and then the Sugar Bowl in 91. Or like the last big... um bowl games that they won but hey congrats on not having online classes <laughs> all right moving on uh i think these will be easy jared i'll i'll just clump them i'll just clump them all together um what is that is that four or five six? Oh, that's two left here of the eight teams that i said so alabama and ohio state red bloods so I don't Ohio think we need to discuss that any further. Alabama. Did, did you hey, say hey look at that. Yeah. No, nope. red. That's They're it. all red. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Did you say a third team, Kyle? No, that's eight, eight teams there. That's four, four in red and four for the old bloods. Perfect. Yeah. And like there, there is no redder blood team than Alabama. I think that just needs to be said. Combination of both recent and historic success. Alabama's on a tier by themselves and like, yep. and just, just, just in case anyone tries to come at me for being biased or whatnot, like there, there is no better program than Alabama. Yeah. I don't yeah. like it either. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not enjoying saying it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so Next group of teams I have here, I kind of I put it as like newcomers, teams who've had recent success in this last millennia here that's worth discussing. I have I have four teams here, so we'll start off with um, with LSU. Okay, start with LSU here, who um, they've had <laughs> they've had two really good teams this millennia, but then they've also had some really bad teams as well too. And it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough because. Kyle, 
it, because how many national titles? It, how many national titles since the millennia turn? It's been two, hasn't it? Or has it? No, it's it's been more than two, hasn't it? I want to say three. Uh, one, two, three. Yes. Yeah, one with uh, one with Saban, one against yeah, Ohio State, and recently with Joe Burrow. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's three. You're right. Yep. <laughs> Two and a half. <laughs> By the way, uh, Austin says if Notre Dame is an old blood, USC damn sure is. No. I, I like to me, and maybe it's arbitrary. I, I really use the year 2000 as a dividing line. USC has won titles multiple titles since 2000 Notre Dame hasn't even won a significant bowl game mm -hmm. I, to, to say to, to put Notre Dame and USC in the same bucket is not fair. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, yeah, I think, I think LSU definitely deserves to be on there as, as I can up and coming young blood, like Jared said, had three, three titles in recent years. Um, they've had, They've had some good years too, but I mean, there's, <laughs> there's other years like they had, um, the last two years, six and seven, five and five, not, not looking all that good, um, post Joe Burrow, but they, they're, they're a very runs hot, runs cold sort of franchise. <laughs> yes. Yep. But all right. Uh, the other teams I have on here, well, I guess I'll, I'll s stay in the sec here. Actually, the next <laughs> The next two are also uh, Georgia, with their finally finally getting um finally getting that national title that they've been waiting a long time to get. Is it fair to be calling Georgia a young blood instead of a red blood? Like they're absolute like like I I don't know it, I, if it, how. I feel like they're they historic like, it, enough to be an old blood. Are, are they? How many? How many? Off the top of your head, how many okay. titles do they have, Jared? All time two. Three. Uh, three now. It is three now. Okay. You, you know the last now, time that they won it before last year? It was. Uh, it was I know it was with Herschel Walker, like eighty-one. Eighty. Eighty. Something like that. And then before. And then before that before that you jump back 40 more years <laughs> to okay. 1942 was uh, the first spa. so it seems like every 40 years they'll they'll win a title fair enough all right yeah new blood okay i, I asked the question and and received an answer new blood <laughs> all right uh florida what florida is a quintessential new blood um I, I just, th they were not successful before the nineties as a, as a franchise. Um, mm -hmm. not, not in any sort of sustainable way, um, or sustained way, I should say. Now, um, now to be, not now to be fair here. Okay. But then after fair. the nineties, they turned into, uh, one of the best franchises. And I know that they've not had the best luck, uh, post urban Meyer, but maybe that's changing now. Maybe it's not. Um, okay. No, right, it's here, not. Austin says. Okay, here we go. But you, you are right. the The nineties, yeah, they've they won. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, like eight. I think they won eight um, titles or conference titles in the nineties. But and they won. They won it all in ninety six. Won it. 2006 and 2008 with urban Meyer. But since then they, they haven't won a conference title since right. then. Um, they've had some bad years here. Like it's, I see a four and eight season. I see a four and seven season uh, last year at six and seven. They've had some losing record seasons here. Yeah. It's, mm, I don't I mean, know. I mean, as I mean, Austin I, says, I, three natties since '96. That qualifies yeah. them as a young blood, in yeah. my mind. That alone, and again, like LSU, they seem to be a program that's either running hot or running cold. Um, so I, I, I think, I think young bloods is an appropriate place for them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, the other also team that I had, 
Yeah. The other, the other team I have on here as much as I think a lot of Ohio state fans just hate to mention, but I, I think they're up here on, um, for young bloods. It's the team in South Carolina. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they've had amazing success in the past, you want to say 10 years or so. Um, not not sustained enough success historically to 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 call them a red blood by any means um i'm I mean, always i'm always wary of putting i mean they've they've it, won they've won their past six is that right there yeah they've won the past six um conference titles well, wow. <laughs> and then winning, yeah, and then win the ACC, Natty, ACC, two of those. Right? Of course, when I say the ACC is the ACC, I probably shouldn't. Uh, maybe that's a knock against USC because, like, as 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 is well established on the Sloopcast, the Pac-12 sucks, and also my microphone stand sucks. Um, All right. So, so th- th- those are the only four teams I really could think of for like is that, becoming newcomers. Is that a knock it, against USC? The fact that they've had so little success in a very bad Pac-12. Ah. Uh. Alabama, OSU, uh, and then USC. Listen, I'm I'm starting to get there, Austin. I'm not there yet, but I am starting to get there. And like I said, their their lack of success in a subpar recently Pac-12 has got me thinking. Because like I was just like, oh yeah, Clemson's won the ACC a lot, but who cares? The ACC sucks. Yeah. So does the Pac-12. So. If I'm taking that away from Clemson, shouldn't the expectation for USC also be there? Mm-hmm. All right. So those were my, I only had four teams as like teams who's had recent success. Uh, I have here on, I have here on my list here on the edge or kind of just teams to discuss about. Sure. Whether historically or recent years. So I'm, I'll, I'll start with historically here because this is it's kind of funny talking about them. But uh, uh, by the way, real quick, because uh, I want to encourage some interaction here. Um, yeah. Miami. Nomad yeah, says that, Miami. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I was getting there. I was I was going to go with another team. But yeah, Miami. Miami was a. Let me, let me pull up there. Because Miami history. has been in two separate moments. Uh, that would be like late 80, early 90 era, and then like the late 90, early aught era. Um, okay, so to be fair, to be fair with Miami, okay, their last title. So they've they won one title this millennia, but their last their last uh, conference title was in 2003, and they didn't. They have not won a title conference title. In the ACC, <sighs> since they since they since the Big East folded in two thousand yeah. end of two thousand and three, they have not won the conference title, and they've only been to the comp they've only been to the conference championship once, once. So, uh, man, it's it's hard because they have had oh, such oh, oh, flashes oh, 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 of success. More. One more. And since they've joined the ACC, Jared, since yeah. joining the ACC, they've only had one season where they've had double digit wins. And that was oh in 2017. Yeah. Okay. USC is not on the chart. Uh, uh, yeah. No, uh, Nomad said yeah, flash in the pan category. And like, I'm not, I'm not about to, uh, I'm not about to, create a new category while we're recording, but yeah, we're, we're, uh, flash in the play fashion. They are just a flash in the pan franchise. 
yeah, I, I would say for Miami, we just keep them off. I say we yeah. keep them off. What about what about Oregon? Ooh, that's a that's a young blood contender. I think. I I think so. But a lack of national title. But two appearances. Two national title appearances since 2011. So it's been, you know, 10 years. That's true. I keep, I keep In 10 years, they have two appearances, but they didn't win either of them. Uh, that That's tough because they're they have very recent success. Very recent success. Um, very recent, very good success. Um, mm -hmm. and even through some coaching changes, they haven't completely gone flat on their face. They, they aren't totally intimidating like they, they, they once were, but I don't know, Kyle, what do you think? Oregon also votes in the chat are also good. Um, young blood. Yes or no, just yeses and nos in the chat. So they've had they've had eight since since the millennia they've had eight conference titles, so but about almost ha almost half of the t half of the time in the since two thousand here. Okay. Um, it reminds me a lot like um, LSU. They've had their good seasons, but then they've had their bad seasons too. Um. I think we're getting like, like it, was, it, it was it wasn't too it wasn't too long ago when they were pretty much dead last in their uh, in their division when they went four and eight. Then they picked it back up with um with um with a uh, crystal ball coming in. And they've since he's come in, they've they've won two of their past four um, conference titles. I, I'd probably put him as as a young blood. I, I, the, I, I the think chat is saying like, yes. The chat is okay. saying yes. So we're, we're we're going with yes. All right. Uh, let's see. You know, can historically, I, can, I go, can I go? Can I go way off track here for for some old bloods? I think you're going Army I think you're and going Navy. Ahead. Oh, as old bloods, they were legitimately the power programs in their day. Yeah. And that day Sorry. has been a very, very, very long time ago, but they were literally the power. Pro now, it's because there was a draft during World War Two and they literally got any player they wanted, you know, via the draft. Um, but. Yeah, black and yeah. pre TV era, not even yeah, black and so white era, pre TV era, but they <laughs> they were legitimately two of then throw Rutgers. Rutgers was never good. I'm. Well, I'm, I'm with them. Teton here. is I'm, in the that, old that's bloods. A no. That's a no for me. That's a no for me. It doesn't count if we don't have footage. Y'all are harsh. <laughs> Yikes. Listen, uh, I'm all I'm catching is nose, so I'm going to drop it. But the I'm, I'm, answer, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna... and I'm not even saying I'm right. I'm not even saying they should be. But the amount of negativity I got for bringing that up is not deserved. I'm going to go probably about back that far, Jared. I'm going to go with um, the next team to discuss, Tennessee. <laughs> about that oh, long ago? Tennessee. I mean, they're old blood at best. They're not, they're not they? young blood. Are they? They're not, they're not red blood. Tennessee was only yeah. good under Peyton. Um, they, they actually won the title the year after Peyton left with T. Martin. If you remember. Yes. yes. <laughs> the they haven't, they haven't, won, they have not won a conference uh, T, title. Wait a Isn't T Martin. I feel like he's coaching somewhere. T Martin. Who? The, the quarterback at Tennessee who won the national title. I feel like he's like an offensive coordinator somewhere or something. Yeah, he is. A, a Z Spike says he's a coordinator somewhere. I forget okay. where, but I want to say at the pro level, but maybe the college level. I forget. 
Uh, let me look here. Uh, so I there, does there does is. Tennessee deserve to be called be called an old blood? They're they're not a they're not a red blood. He um, is he is currently with Baltimore Ravens as a wide receivers coach. There you go. Yeah, I get. I guess it's tough for me. I, I guess historically, just because they've won quite a few titles back in the sixties, well, sixty and fifties and four and the um, even before the forties. What is that? One, two, four, five. So they have six titles. I, I guess that's enough to put them as an old blood. They, you have six titles under your belt. That's that's fair. I, I guess. I guess so. That's but fair. that's it. That's fair. <laughs> since the turn of since the turn of the millennia. Ugh, yeah. They they've only they've only been to the um conference title game three times and never have won a conference title since their since their their natty in ninety eight. Yeah, What's no, no, no. I'm not, I'm I'm not I don't think anyone's making a red blood argument here you know i don't think you need to i don't think you need to, to to back that up no no one's making a red blood argument here old blood was the best they were gonna do how do you feel about florida got, state everybody yeah florida state's another one that i that i have on my list to talk about now they're in the grand scheme of things a relatively recent team um the one thing I'm always interested with Florida state or with, or excuse me, with any program is does your success come across at least two coaches? And technically because, the answer would be yes. With, with Florida state. E back, back yeah. to they did have the, they did have a title in 2013. Was it with, with yep. uh, Winston? I think it was 13. With Yes. So 2013 and then also had a 99 and, and uh, 93 are there three titles. I mean, they, they may have bought it, but they, they definitely didn't get there too morally. Um, FSU is red blood, if not for their last five years. Um, That's if they would have had any level of success. And I, when I say that, when I say, I don't even know. It doesn't even have to be another title. I just wanted to see them or had been a new year six and made the playoffs. If they had won the ACC since Winston left, it just sort of feels like a bit of a flash in the pan. Like Winston was just that good. He did his thing. And then Florida state went back to being Florida state. It just feels like a flash in the pan in the early nineties. And then a another flash in the just, pan under Jameis Winston. It wasn't just early nineties. It was pretty much all of the nineties. Since Now since how much joined... success Kyle would you say they had prior to that? Um, it was fine when they were, <laughs> when they were in <laughs> when they were independent, when, um, when, when bone joined, he, he really, he really turned that program around. Like it would, like they were a crap shoot before, uh, Bowden started. And when he joined it, yeah, he really turned that, turned that team around and then, took off when they uh, joined a conference in 92. Okay. It, it so, wasn't when they, when they joined in 92, they, they won a conference title for like nine straight years. Yeah. So man, they, they, they really could have been. Yeah, that that's it really could have been yeah, a red that, blood. That's right, Austin. Yeah, that's consistency. They re man, if they would have just had any success, and I mean any success, 
after Jameis Winston left. You could make a red blood argument here, even though their success is somewhat recent. Um, I mean, do you want to call them young bloods? Is that fair? Do they belong on the chart? Uh, guys, what do you think down in the chat? Red, young, or no? Th those are your three options. Red, young, no. Man, I mean, it's three titles. I mean, one t one title in the past, within the last 10 years, and then three titles within the last uh, 30 years, 29 years to be precise three titles man that's that's tough to leave them out that's tough well but the the the, 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 the we do chat a, has spoken yeah we got a unanimous no in the chat though so we'll keep florida state off then um penn state state's a good one uh, Penn State has to, at the very least, be an old blood, right? I mean, controversy aside, same as Notre Dame. Notre Dame is an old blood. Yeah. Um, same as Notre Dame, I, I think, is probably somewhat fair. Um, yeah, Penn State's an old blood, right? And I feel like they could be blue blood again, much like I feel like Notre Dame, Texas, Michigan, not so much Nebraska or Tennessee, I think have the opportunity to make themselves red blood again. Like it's not like it's not a death sentence, but I think for now, Penn State is old blood. Yeah. Question for you, Jared. How many conference titles in the big 10 has Penn state won. Um, four man, I'm getting a lot of ones in the chat. That is correct. It is four. Ooh. They had one, they had one in 2016, 2008, 2005, and in 94. Yeah, you guys have to remember how easy it used to be to get a uh, Big Ten championship. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys have to remember how easy it used to be. <laughs> it's not. Because it was just like, oh, three way tie, three champions. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah, it, it used to be stupid. Before Herbs and Day showed up. Well, before the Big Ten Championship game. That's, that's, I, I, championship, Big Ten Championships before the Big 12, or excuse me, the Big Ten Championship game are to be taken with an asterisk. Sorry, Tress, but it's, 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 it's true. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I think you put them at. I think you put them at old blood. I think yeah, you yeah. put them at. Old. That has happened. Um. Yeah. All right. Uh, what other teams do I have on here? Florida State, Miami. We talked about Oregon. Uh, Auburn. I put on your Auburn. Put on your Auburn. I mean, I'm kind of just going through who's left on our on our graphic here. I think the only team that really jumped out to me was Auburn. That that yeah. maybe we so haven't Auburn, acknowledged Auburn, yet. Auburn won the one title in 2010. With Cam Newton. Since and two, that was Cam Newton's title. He literally carried everyone else to yeah. that title. Since 2000, or even, even way before that, but I'll put the mark at 2000, they've only won three um, uh, conference titles. 04, 10, and 2013. Yeah, I. Man, when was their, they, they, when, they, when's they their most me, recent? They remind me a lot like like LSU, where they'll they'll have their good years and then they'll have their bad years. Like the past couple of years, last year they went six and seven, and then went six and five, uh, nine and four, eight and five, and. <laughs> The year and then in 2012, they have a three nine record in there too. 
It's, when was their last title before? Humbert's title? No, national title before Cam Newton. Oh, anybody want to take a guess at that? I want to guess sometime in the 80s. It's going to be way before any of us were born. At no, least no, not the 80s talking, then? Talking and in chat. How long ago? 57. Yeah, okay, they're out. No, nah, they're <laughs> out. That's, that's game over, man. That's GG's. <laughs> we're done here with Auburn. Um, before, any... 2004, before 2004, for their um, uh, conference title, before that, it was in 89. So, yeah, yeah. They, they didn't do much at all in the 90s. And Chat, yeah. did we miss anyone? Should, should we discuss someone? Uh, War Eagle can suck itself, apparently. They, they, they have all the suck they need. Chat, anyone who we have not uh, brought up that we should bring up? They've, they've lost five of their last six bowl games. Five of their last six or um, seven of their uh, last nine. They've last <laughs> of their bowl games. Yikes. Kansas, so I asked chat, we have Kansas State, Baylor, Washington. Um, Baylor? Baylor Baylor, I think, has done an impressive job climbing up from where they used to be. But if you look at who's in the young blood category, we have teams that have either won or been to, in the case of Oregon, but every other team on there has been, has won a national title this millennia. <clears throat> um, can, 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 I, can I read off some records for Baylor here? No, ba ba Baylor is historically <laughs> terrible, and I think it's impressive that they have come as far as they have, considering how historically terrible they are. But I just don't feel comfortable putting them in the same category as yep. teams with national titles, with the exception of Oregon. But Oregon's been to two national title games in the last 10 years, and Baylor's yeah. has not even they sniffed the playoffs once. Yep. The answer is no. Nope. No, SMU, uh, absolutely not. No way, yeah. SMU. SMU literally is the cheatiest of cheatiest programs that ever happened. They have zero success because none of the success they had actually counts. They bought right, their way. People talk, people talk about SMU never recovered from the death penalty. SMU was never good until they started putting players on payroll. They just went back to what they always were before they were outright cheating. Yeah. All right. Uh, two more teams, Jared, real quick here. We're coming up on 15 minutes right now. Uh, two more teams. Uh, we have in the chat here, Washington. Washington, you could they, make a new blood argument, I think. You um, could, especially the past uh, six years, you definitely can. But before that, eh. <laughs> well, but that's why before, it's, it's why they're like a super young blood. Super, super young blood, super recent blood. Uh, yeah. Uh, you right. Keep an eye on them. Win a playoff game, then we'll talk. Yeah, that's to keep them off for right now, but it's, a, yeah, it's one to keep an eye on. And then the last one in here, Arkansas. <laughs> why, why, why? why did you mention Arkansas? <laughs> yeah, you, you, I, uh, I'm not even going to, you were, we're Russell toastering this one. You tell me why, or excuse me, yeah. Russell's teapot. I don't know why I said toaster. All right. You tell uh, I me think, why I think, Arkansas. So I think, I think that's it. So the, the recap here. So we have our red bloods, USC, Oklahoma, Ohio state, Alabama. Kyle, we have to, we said we'd revisit USC. Do we feel good about USC? being there with Oklahoma, Ohio State, and Alabama. To, I'm putting it on that, you. <laughs> now that you put it that way, to be on par with Alabama, Ohio State, Oklahoma, man, it's tough because you can look at it different ways. National titles in, the, in the, this millennia, yeah, USC would belong in there. Um, but then if you talk about consistency, 
for the past 20 years? The answer is going to be no to that. So which one do you take seriously? More serious yeah. titles or consistency? Yeah, I think that's and, a great question. And I, I think you have to leave them. In my opinion, I think you leave them because of the success that they've had in the past 20 years, winning those, um, those titles there and could have been much more too, but is what it is. But yeah, I, I, I think they, they stay where they are as a red blood. Okay. Um, yeah, th- I, I, I think I like, I think I like the chart. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, then we have here old bloods who's not a, in our, in our view, not a current red blood, the old bloods, Nebraska, Michigan, Texas, Notre Dame, Tennessee, and Penn State. And then up and coming young bloods who's had re- recent success, but not overall um, success. Uh, LSU, Georgia, Florida, Clemson, and Oregon. Uh, I think that's good. No, I, li- I like I like that list. Nomad says uh, North Dakota State, Wisconsin, Whitewater, Mount Union. Absolutely. Mount Union. <laughs> Red Bloods in their own categories, but we're not yes. doing their categories. But in their own categories, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Red Bloods, all of them. That's just Bring not the within the scope Raiders. of what we're doing today. Bring on the Purple Raiders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He also right, said BYU, San Diego State, you get out of here. Yeah. Get out of here. All right, Jared, that's it. We are way over on time. That's the first time we said that in a long time, but. <laughs> yeah, this was fun. That's it. I enjoyed this. I hope it everyone was. else I enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Um, if you. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing any of that stuff. We're just we're jumping out of this episode. So. uh Tonight's ending music we brought to you by the band Paper Morning. They are out of Columbus. The name of the band, once again, is Paper Morning. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Paper Morning.